call them my tits because that's what they are. I hate them. I hate my tits. I'm scared of what will happen without them. After getting used to them for so long, flattened, pressed hard, tight around my ribs, black elastic wrapping my torso. That's what my chest is. Those are my tits. I'm used to this, binding. Doesn't that mean uniting? I'm scared of what will happen without them. My tits, my breasts, when they disappear from my chest. I've had a hard time breathing. I've had a hard time being. But that's normal now, that's ordinary. Without them, will life be extraordinary? I'm Saba and I'm 23. I'm having a chest surgery in three days. You know, people assume that this is what you've wanted your whole life and <clears throat> I didn't know that because I didn't really know I was trans for most of my life either. And there's a, I think there's a lot of pressure on people to, to be happy about it and you know, all, all my friends and family will be like, if you know, if you're happy, then that's great. It's what you've wanted, or like saying, I'm happy for you. And I'm thinking, I'm not. I'm not happy for me. I'm really scared because it's a major operation. I think people forget that. I don't think I'm. I'm used to the idea of like someone looking after me that much, especially when it's something that's going to affect her like as much as it affects me. Because the same way, I have to get used to my body. Without this, she's gonna have to get used to it as well. Yeah, it's been a week since my surgery. I've just, I've already gotten into habit of wanting to just pick things up and do the dishes and make a cup of tea, but I can't and she's making sure I don't. Yeah, even at the hospital, Vicky was texting my family and making sure that they were reassured. I think even just like the support you've given me has made us a lot more close, even though you can't hug me. Or, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's, it's going to be really great just to be with you and not have that kind of yeah. weight on my mind. Like, it's really hard to like be intimate with someone when there's something you hate is in the way. I, I'm really looking forward to seeing these changes in you because there are, I suppose, so many limitations on things that you don't feel quite confident enough to do now, even just in day-to-day -day life. And I think I'll really be able to see you coming through now. A lot of people think that, you know, it's about passing as male and like going under the radar, but that won't change, I know that won't. I'll, I'll still look the same, I'll probably just act a bit more confident and probably end up acting a bit more camp, but it's important to acknowledge that because it's, for me it's not about not pass it, passing and yeah. things like that. It's more about like my emotional kind of transition and my perception of how, how I see myself and how I look. Take a look at my chest. You won't know they're breasts. You won't know they're there, and you won't know they're gone. Without them, life will just go on. 